they're going to be coming through from that bottom entrance, so please do make way for them, because they don't have brakes. You don't want to get your foot trapped under one of them. Coming in by the looks of it is the four inch McLaren. And this uh, gentleman was very kind enough yesterday to come in. Come in when we had the steering competition. And we had some some more of the younger variety of drivers taking the miniature for a spin. We'll be doing that again later this afternoon, if anybody does fancy having a uh, steer of an engine. Head back to the arena about four o'clock. And we open the, open the arena gates, if anybody would like to have a steer. And here they come. in a two. Two, eight, two. I know it's a four inch McLaren. It's called Maud, built by the owner over a four year period. And it was first steamed in 2015. That's owned there by Les Riley, the Stoke contract. Two, three, nine. The four inch scale Fowler A5 general purpose, named Big Dad, owned by Alexandra Kirk and family of Mansfield. Dad always told me never say anything about female drivers. That 258. Two five eight, the four inch burrow, built by the owner and completed in two thousand and seven. And by Peter Shaw, Derbyshire. Are you all right, Peter? 232, a two inch scale Durham and North Yorkshire engine built over three and a half years by Michael Hurst at Sheffield. 273, it's the six inch Tasker Little Giant, owned by Adam Wilson, Burton on Trent. 217, that's a lovely little three inch scale Foden C type wagon with three way tipper and water ramp, owned by Brian Chapman and Grimsby. 260 is the four and a half inch scale Foden C type compound wagon, modelled on the X Horrell cylinder Exeter wagon, owned by Richard and MJ Smith of Wakefield. I've got to say that right, haven't I? Wakefield. My wife stood there, she'd go, no, John, it's Wakefield. It's not, it's Wakefield, isn't it? 265, the four-inch burrow, built in 2013 by John Rex Engineers and has attended many rallies since. 279, four-inch Foster Agricultural Engine, built between 1992 and 2014, owned by Anthony Dillon of Boston. 257, that is the 4-inch Foster, which is on loan, but you've still got Phil Scarborough there at the helm. 211, a 4-inch Garrett, completed in 2009 after a 5-year period of construction in, constructing it, owned by David Barlow. 291, slow down, will ya? 291, the uh, quarter-scale 1939 AEC Matador, owned by Ron Henson. 270, an 4-inch uh, Fowler A7, built over three years, called Annie, owned by Eric Wilson. 210, that is, not there, it's a 4-inch, 6-inch uh, Foden, dock wagon, 
built between 2015 and 2022. 267. A six inch Savage Little Samson tractor built over seven years, owned by Chris Webb. 286. A four and a half inch scale Foden C Type lorry, owned by Wayne Lamb. 209, a four inch Foster DCC. Road Loco, built over two and a half years. Named Shirley B after his late mother, and that's owned by Tony Baldwin. 249. That's the four inch Boral, single crank compound engine named Lady Jennifer. 262, a four and a half inch scale Wallace and Stephen Simplicity Roller, built by Mr. Whitmore and restored by Jim, owned there by James Stanley, a Newcastle upon Tyne. 233, there's the four inch Savage, little Samson traction engine owned by Peter Hurst. 223 is the three inch scale Alchin Agricultural Royal Chester. 277. That's the 4-inch Foster, built in 1991 and is named Spud. 214, that's the 6-inch Marshall Single Cylinder Agricultural, built by Phil Ives and exhibited there by George Boyne of North Yorkshire. 266, that's the 6-inch Boral Agricultural called Harriet, based on the Plasto drawings and purchased as an unfinished project, now on its second rally season, season owned by Richard Walton of Old Buckingham. I know where about you are, because I'm over in uh, Deerham. That looks like a little two-inch rust and a proctor. Hey, Four-inch. I know it's small. Next, we got Vicky Burton on the four-and-a-half-inch scale agricultural burrow, built by Cyril Richardson and purchased in 2015. 277, 227, get my numbers the right way around. It's the forage bull agricultural named Jenny Genie, built in 2000. Number on the front is borrowed, and I say that loosely, borrowed from the Madison Brothers. Two, I missed that one. 220, six inch Rushton and Proctor tractor, built over a seven year period by Adrian Denton of Lincoln. 274, that's the 4-inch Sentinel DG4, built in Ireland, bought in 2021 and restored for my father and two sons. Engine is a 3-speed and capable of 16 mile an hour, owned by Lloyd Harrison at Grimsby. And you got the little tracker on the back, thank you very much. 287, isn't on my sheet, but I'll come round in a little while and read that, alright? Just make sure you don't crash it. 212, a six inch Sentinel steam wagon built by Barry Johnson in 1999, purchased by the present owners in 2010 and has undergone a full overhaul, owned there by the Booth family of Derbyshire. 230, a four and a half inch frozen steam wagon, previously owned and run by the late Carl and Pat Slater, owned by Carrie and Alan Hartley of Huddersfield. 224, a four inch girl. Brown and May agricultural engine built to work drawings and dated 1909 to 1911. The full-size example is known to exist. Non-full-size example is known to exist in preservation. 241, a four and a half inch boat of sea type wagon built by the owner over three years and by Roy East of Doncaster. 213, a four inch girl box track engine New boiler was fitted in March 2017 and is exhibited by Mr. John Bruce. Straight to the beer tent after John? Maybe. 221, a four inch Rustin Proctor named Helen, owned by Peter Dobbin. 234, a four, uh, six inch Boral Devonshire tractor with working Governor rubber tyres for road runs and is painted in maroon. 226, Four and a half inch Boral traction engine named Annie, owned by Mervyn Greaves of Lynx. Two, four, three. Clara uh, is a uh, four and a half inches to the foot scale model of the Royal Chester single cylinder traction engine built by Alchins and exhibited at the Royal Show in Chester in 1925. 
Played by Stuart Lindsay. Now this next engine has been coming to the rally for many, many years. We first ex he first exhibited this engine uh, ooh, a good 10 years ago, I'd say. And uh, yeah, we saw it. We saw it uh, being built. Basically, it came as a, uh, a non a non uh, steam exhibit. Now that's uh, by uh, John Robinson. Uh, two two nine. A six-inch Foden steam wagon, previously owned and run by the late Carl and Pat Slater. Another one owned there by Kerry and Alan Hartley. 219. There's the four and a half inch old Foden steam wagon, built by the owners over 20 years from scratch. Owned by Trevor and Rob Day. Glad you could make it in on time today, guys. 272. That's the uh, four-inch Boral single crank compound, built and run by the late Walter uh, Broom Yi, and that's John on there, not George. You've got to get that right. 252. That's the 4 inch Boral single cylinder built in 2010 by uh, John Renbine Hill Passenger of West Yorkshire. 264 is the 6 inch Boral road locomotive built over 10 years with a lot of help from Dave Evans in the process, and there by Michael Bench. See Michael up there on a lot of road runs, getting up a lot of speed as well. 280 is the 4 inch Garrett, built by Les Landry in 1997. It's had a new boiler and repaint in the last four years, owned by John Clark of Lau. Cabri's livery there, owned by Alistair Foster. 